Now that we have a handle on common survey design structures, let's look at a real-world survey to see how the survey design and the weights impact our analyses. We will explore the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. The goal of NHANES is to assess the health of people in the U.S. Because the survey includes a medical exam in a mobile health vehicle, the researchers have put a lot of care into developing a cost-effective, representative sampling design. The data are collected in four stages. First, the U.S. is stratified by geography and distribution of minority populations. Then, counties are randomly selected within each stratum, where more populated counties are more likely to be sampled. From the sampled counties, city blocks are randomly selected, where again, more populated blocks are more likely to be sampled. From the sampled city blocks, households are randomly selected based on demographic information. And lastly, within the sampled households, people are randomly selected for inclusion in the sample. The 2009 to 2012 sample data, called NHANES RAW, can be found in the NHANES package. Running the DIM command returns the number of rows or observations and the number of columns or variables contained in the data set. We see that the NHANES RAW data set contains 78 variables on 20,293 people. Before specifying the design, we need to modify the survey weights variable, weight MEC 2 year. Weight MEC 2 year provides the number of people in the U.S. each sampled person represents. Therefore, summing all the weights via the summarize command should provide a rough estimate of the total number of people in the U.S. However, we get an estimate of 608 million people, about twice as many as we should. That is because these weights were constructed assuming you have two years of data. Since we have four years of data, we need to divide each weight by two. To do that, we use the mutate function to create a new column, weight mech four year, where each value is half the value in weight mech two year. Let's specify the design with the R function survey design. In the arguments, we need to provide the data set, NHANES raw, and the strata column, SDMV strata. Remember, ID is where we specify the variables that represent the clusters. Well, the design actually had three levels of clusters, counties, city blocks, households. It's common practice to only specify the first level, denoted here by SDMV PSU. Running the distinct function on SDMV PSU, we see it only takes three values, one, two, three. This is because one to three counties were sampled within each strata. Therefore, we must include nest equals true because the cluster IDs are nested within the strata. Lastly, the survey weights are given in weight MEC for year. Now for some analyses. Suppose we want to estimate the distribution of race in the U.S. I created these two plots using the race variable in the NHANES raw data set. In the top graph, I counted for the survey weights, and in the bottom graph, I didn't. Notice how different the distribution of race is between these two plots. The survey weights account for the sampling design, in which minority populations are oversampled, they adjust for non-response, and are calibrated to known information about the population. In essence, if we ignore them, we will get a very wrong graph. The moral of the story is that survey weights cannot be ignored. And in the rest of this course, we will learn to ensure that the graphs, the models, the analyses we conduct properly handle the weights. All right, it's time to practice with the NHANES weights.